In Fabric is a new film about a fabulous dress that curses its owner. That might sound like a new trend, but killer fashion has been in vogue for a while, especially in old school Italian horror. There is somebody staring at me from that fifth floor window up there. Oh, I'm sure you've been stared at before. The Sentinel stars Christina Raines as a popular fashion model who finds out her apartment is built on a hellmouth, just like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She finds the Hellmouth is making her physical and mental health take a nosedive, along with her career. But not before we get a cameo from the effervescent Jeff Goldblum as her photographer. Quick, give me the other camera. I'm not going to get it like this again. And his lines are dubbed for some reason. Oh, Christ. Watch out, Rick. There's no escape. Hailing from Italy, and that's going to be a theme, by the way. <laughs> Bloody Pit of Horror is about a group of pinup models and photographers who break into an old castle to get some cool shots. Little do they know that the mansion once housed a sadistic fiend called the Crimson Executioner, and the caretaker has decided to take up the previous owner's mantle. With a little wrestling cosplay, of course. The body of the Crimson Executioner. Delirium is pure, unapologetic sleaze. It's an Italian flick about a former model named Gloria who takes over an adult magazine called Pussycat after her husband dies in a speedboat accident. A mysterious killer starts offing Gloria's associates and sending her photos of the bodies. So she decides to get out of the biz for good. But is it too late? No, no! The weird thing about this one, other than the 80s fashion, is how the killer's point of view changes from victim to victim. In one instance, the victim's face looks like the head of a bee. Eyes of Laura Mars, 1978. Not long before he made history with Halloween, John Carpenter sold the spec script for this horror movie, even though it went through tons of rewrites. Directed by Irvin Kirshner, yep, the guy who made The Empire Strikes Back, Eyes of Laura Mars stars Faye Dunaway as an art and fashion photographer who's made a big splash in the New York scene. Unfortunately, something even worse than paparazzi has attached itself to Laura's fame in the form of a killer who starts targeting her friends. Even worse, somehow she's able to see the crimes happen as if she's looking through the killer's eyes. Come on. Come on. What, what, what? This swanky thriller, set in swinging London, is about a fashion photographer who hits pause on his decadent career when he becomes convinced he snapped shots of a murder. What are you doing? He struggles to figure out what's lurking in the background of the photo, stirring something dark inside of him. This ends up being the movie's whole point, because answers about the murder never quite materialize. You're going to be great. It's the most recent addition to our list. Drive's director took us inside the bewitching, candy-colored nightmare of being a model in Los Angeles. Elle Fanning plays the doe-eyed teenager who dreams of becoming a model, only to find herself falling in with a nasty crowd of fashionistas who are obsessed with youth and beauty. You want sour milk when you can get fresh meat. The fact that she's staying at a seedy motel, run by an even seedier Keanu Reeves, doesn't help her situation. You may suspect early on that the neon demon is going to take a dark and malevolent turn, and you would be right. <laughs> Saving the most terrifying for last, Mario Bava's Italian classic is as stunningly beautiful as it is influential. Blood and Black Lace begins with the murder of one of Christian Haute Couture's models, a woman with a lot of dirt on the other characters. Naturally, they're terrified when the victim's tell-all diary suddenly turns up right before the latest fashion show. The bodies start piling up, and the police struggle to figure out who did it, leading to a clever and unexpected twist ending that other thrillers, like Scream, have been stealing ever since. So there you go, the seven coolest horror films about the world of high fashion. Just goes to show, if you're gonna commit a crime, might as well do it in style. Ha, 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 ha.